Danish Minister of Foreign Affairs, Willy Zerfdal, warned us in 2009 at the Copenhagen Climate Conference. Uh, ice is melting at the poles. His funny Danish pronunciation of the word poles received more attention than the content of his message, thus shifting the urgency of the problem into the background. The poles, the poles, ice is melting the poles, the poles, the poles, ice is melting the poles, very quick, it's going very quick, 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 the poles, this is serious. Show the necessary courage, courage, take the necessary responsibility. This is serious. This is Syria. At the poles. Therefore I think we have to make broad alliances. At the poles. Areas where the rain doesn't come anymore. At the poles. Uh, I have to leave you soon because I have to go to debate on Danish television for one hour tonight with some of what's denying this agenda. Ice is melting at the poles. The Danish artist Erstedt made a series of moving vertical lines with two self-designed laser lights machines based on the warm up stripes of British scientist Ed Hawkins. These lines represent the rise in average global temperature over the past 169 years. Blue is a relatively cool year, red a warm one. The stripes are interspersed with a series of interwoven circles, which show the rise in global temperature and CO2 concentration. The changing height of the stripes and circles corresponds to the data about the sea level rise. Erstedt is a creative jack of all trades. He was artistic director at various cultural organizations, worked for radio and TV, and act is active as a light artist. As it is part of the Bell and Brand, an artist collective that creates artwork and performances that revolve around fire and light. The Warm Stripes by scientist Ed Hawkins are indeed inspiration for all kinds, not always sustainable merchandise, from slippers to legging as we can see. The building where the light work can be seen, the Maritime Museum, also has an exhibitions on the same theme. 